Welcome back, and in this lesson, I'll be taking you through the BitScap and SBOT interface. I'll be walking you through it at a high level so we can wrap up all of our fundamental learning um, and we can piece everything together. So to do that, I'm gonna take you into my live accounts. Okay, I'm gonna walk you through. It's gonna be different to a demo. However, in our action items lesson of this module, um, I'll be going into the demo mode in detail. Okay, so let's jump into my accounts. So as we can see, uh, we have my BitScap account here right now. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna talk you through the sections in which I use, and then we're gonna jump into the bots interface itself, and I'll walk you through that in a bit more detail, okay? So when you land, it'll probably put you in the bots window. However, I'm gonna start off with trading, okay? So I know there's a lot going on in this screen. However, the most important things that you need to just think about right now is that Right here we can see the exchanges, okay? And you can see that I'm using Binance and Qcoin. Um, this is where you select it, okay? Now beside the exchange, we have our coin pairs. Now in our examples that we've been using in this course throughout is ETH slash USDT. Um, and as you can see, uh, if I wanted to type uh, something else in here, okay, that one doesn't wanna work, so I've spelled it incorrectly. Uh, but you can see I could select the ETH BUSD, which we spoke about in our fees video and lesson. Uh, so here is where you select your coin pairs, okay? Now it changes, you can see that it changes the exchange, change the coin pair and the chart changes, okay? So let's just go back to Binance and let's go back to our ETH slash USDT, okay? Now if I come over to the right hand side here, this is the section which we use in addition to the chart. However, we've got our limit orders here and we've got our market orders here, okay? And you can see that they're showing two different fields. Uh, within limit, we have our buy and sells, as we know, and within our market, we have our buy and sell options as well. So again, our limit orders and our market orders. Um, limit orders, make a fees. Market orders, take a fees, okay? Next thing I'm gonna show you, we're gonna skip the bots section here. Uh, we're gonna skip portfolio because I don't use it. Um, I'm gonna jump to my exchanges. Now my exchanges, um, now we spoke about exchanges, the bot or BitScap itself trading on our behalf. This is how we link it. Um, and there will be a video on setting up your API and giving it permission to trade on your behalf. Your funds are at the exchange, remember, okay? Now, just while I'm up on this top section, we've got the start new bot, okay? Um, and we have a wallet. This is the most important thing here as well. This is just giving and pulling your wallet balance from your exchange. So it's pulling in some total from your exchange, okay? And then we've got our profile here, okay? And this is where you select demo mode. Uh, but again, in a later lesson, I will teach you about that. Here, you can also just change your, your language and your currency, okay? So you can change it between those. All right, so let's jump into the bots. Okay, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk through the chart and then going to talk through uh, the bot performance on sort of section underneath um, and I'll talk about strategies and balances and then we'll talk about starting a bot uh, and we'll piece all of those parts together as we have spoken about grid ranges, grid levels, grid step percentages, investment splits and all of the features within the BitScap and S bots. So for now I'm just gonna click this uh, so it shows that. Okay, so let's go uh, sort of Talk about this chart. So the chart is just the price action over time, okay, or the price movement over time. And we've got a couple of windows that we can select here. So a five minute chart, and you can see the chart changes. We can do a daily, okay, and you can see that the chart changes. And the way in which we move the chart is, you can see here, if I grab and I pull down, it sort of shrinks it. Same as here, we've got the time axis. We can just drag it, and you can see that it moves the chart, okay? So to select that, you just click here. Uh, I've got a few favorites there. Uh, the one day but in, in saying that when I talk about launches and whatnot we'll go into more detail but these are just how you select it okay now there's a couple other tools uh, here you can have a cross uh, and an arrow that just means what you've got on the chart okay Let's see if I have a dot it's probably not gonna yeah you can see the dot there perfect um, and sort of just to save things you can just press the little start icon and you can see that it removes it from here so if I add it you see it adds back on okay um, here you've got some, some tools and some horizontal lines and vertical lines. You've got some things there that help us with some analysis. Again, we'll talk about that later in later lessons. But here's just some tools. You can have a play around. Here's a bit of a measurement tool. Um, and sort of go on and create your own sort of favorites. So have a bit of play around with the chart. That's what that is. 
Now, um, when we come down to, and you've got some bots launched, as I do here, you'll see that they all stack up under, under each other, okay? And we have some metrics up the top here, which we'll get through in more detail. But all you need to know is that each bot has its own sort of section, okay? And it has its own information, which we'll get through later. Um, and they have some options within, also some things that we can sort of deep dive into the bot to see how it's running under the hood. Um, and you can do that here. We've got some bot analysis information here, which we'll talk through in a lot more detail later on. That's all you need to know. And then this icon here just tells us that for this bot, uh, if I wanna close it, here's what I can do, okay? Now remember we spoke about what happens at the end. We've got our market and our limit, sorry, our market and our limit orders. Um, this is where that comes into play as well. So again, just to recap, this graph icon, if you click on it, it's bot analysis. And here is if we're going to close and what are the options at our disposal, okay? Now, just to the right of that, we have a strategy section, okay? So what this is saying is um, based on machine learning and artificial intelligence, Bitscap are just selecting and giving us some suggestions on coin pairs and settings, okay? And you can see there's about 703 um, and you can sort of change the back testing sort of window. Um, we'll get in more detail about that later on, but again, all you need to understand is this is just some suggestions from Bitscap um, on how, on some coin pairs and some settings, okay? Now balance, okay, is directly correlated to our wallet, okay? Now this is our wallet here and you can see that I'm trading Binance and I'm trading KuCoin. Okay, they're my two exchanges. Now, you can see that I'm selected here on this bot, which is a Binance bot, and we can tell that by that's a Binance icon, okay, it's its logo. And you can see because I'm selected on that, this section, my balance is only going to reflect the money that I have at Binance. So at the moment I have 27,000, okay. And if you added these two together, you would see that I would have 27,000, okay. so. Balance section is a detailed breakdown of your wallet amount at your exchange, okay? And that is driven by what one you're selected on. So what bot you're selected on. If I was to click on Qcoin, you'll see that the numbers change. If I click back on my Binance, you can see it there. So what is this telling us? It's just saying what cash is available and what cash is within bots and locked per se, okay? That's all you need to know. We will get in more detail later on in terms of that. Um, but for now, let's jump in and have a look at the bot creation. Okay, so we come up to the top here and we select start a new bot and we get prompted with the three options. We are using SBOT, okay? And let's just sort of talk through this because by now we have talked through exchanges, pairs, investment amounts, upper and lower price, grid ranges, grid levels, lines, uh, grid step percentages, we've spoken about trailing up, we've spoken about trailing down, take profit and stop loss. So let's just sort of walk through this in a bit more detail, okay? So here is where you select your exchange. You can see that I have two exchanges linked, Binance and Qcoin, okay? So I'm gonna click Binance for now. Um, and here is where we can select any coin pair that that exchange offers. Now for us, we've been using ETH USDT, okay? Type it in. Select it perfectly, and you can see that the, the chart changes, okay? Now, um, we've also spoken about investment amounts, and here is where I can put that in, so 1,000, um, okay? And you can see that uh, we've got that split that split there. So 1,000 is split at the moment based on my grid range and uh, my buyers and my sells. Uh, we can see how that investment split, okay? And if we pull this down, you can see that it changes. We are aware of that, we understand that. Okay, uh, we've got our high and our lower price. Okay, manually we can input that or we can drag it um, either either. Um, so if I put that, we can put that at 4,800. It changes, um, pretty self-explanatory and we have gone into some detail on that. Uh, grid levels, okay, we've always been using 10 and you can see the moment that I change that, um, it reflects, okay. Um, grid step percentage, you can also change that yourself. Um, but keep in mind that when you do change that, there is a, a little bit of a correlation there. What I like to do is I like to just use grid levels, okay? And uh, we'll talk through that in a bit more detail later on. Um, again, uh, we've got our trailing up and trailing down, and we can see that we know that if we want a trailing up grid, we have to have 10, so I have to change that. It's throwing a little error for me. Um, we've got trailing down here. We select that on. 
uh, our take profit and our stop loss. Okay, so just talking through the bot creation. These are all things that we've learned about and we have a fundamental understanding of. We need to understand them in full detail because those are the key pillars and levers that we have at our disposal to generate more profits and select and craft strategies. Okay, now once you've got those things set or not set, the final thing is uh, a back test. Now, back test is just in the simplest way possible. Okay, it's saying based on the settings that I have in, how would that have performed? Uh, how would that have performed over time up until this date? So it's looking back and it's going, okay, well, for a selected duration, uh, these were the settings I had. How would it have performed? Okay, and it's simple. You select it. It tells us here some details. We'll go into more detail about back testing later on, um, but it just simulates how it would have performed over time. Okay, final thing we've got here is a preview. So it's just a double check. This is how um, this is how you've set up your bot. Are you sure you want to launch it? Um, so you can just go through, and again, we just check that we've got our S bot here, where our exchange is correct, our pair is correct. Um, we've also got sell orders and buy orders, so that's how we had our investment split. Grid levels and lines. We remember we've used ten, so we're just checking that grid step. Here is just the checks and balances before you confirm and launch your bot that everything is accurate and how you want it. Okay. So a lot of information, please do not be overwhelmed. This is just an introduction to it. Um, and we will be getting into more detail later on. So you are a master and an expert in each individual section of this software. Um, so again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson.